Net neutrality is the principle that protects the open internet, which means that all users can upload and download the lawful content of their choice, they can use the applications on the network of their choosing, and they're free to innovate using this open platform. It's also the way the internet was designed, and it's the internet that we all know and love. Net neutrality is really important to musicians because it allows them direct access with their fans. They can use the internet, which is an unprecedented tool for communications, to keep their fans updated on tour dates. Uh, you know, they can communicate with them on Facebook, MySpace, what have you. And also, they're able to build digital storefronts on their own sites and really kind of conduct every aspect of their day-to-day -day business using this powerful communications tool that is the internet. And the best part about net neutrality is that it actually allows them to do that without having to ask permission or go through a gatekeeper. And the internet service providers, the ISPs, the people that you know provide your internet connection, would like to charge content providers, again, this could be musicians, a fee for the faster delivery of their sites and services. Now, if a musician didn't want to pay that toll or couldn't afford to pay that toll, they would be pushed onto the internet slow lane and the folks with the deeper pockets would have priority access to the fast lanes. And for independent musicians in particular, this would be really devastating because the amazing thing about the internet is that pretty much any musician is able to use this open platform to you know, make connections with uh, their audiences and you know, build bigger fan bases and essentially just kind of advance their career on their own terms. Future Music Coalition has, you know, been keeping a close eye on the net neutrality conversation for quite some time. As a matter of fact, before net neutrality was even a term, we understood that the open structures of the internet would be very, very important to musicians, uh, particularly independent musicians who traditionally hadn't been able to participate directly in, you know, a lot of the you know, standard industry uh, uh, platforms like commercial broadcast radio or the major label system. Uh, in 2007, we launched the Rock the Net campaign with a bunch of really amazing artists, uh, OK Go, R.E.M., Pearl Jam, Ted Leo and the Pharmacists, Kronos Quartet, uh, Boots Riley from The Coup, and the point of Rock the Net was to demonstrate to policymakers that the music community really cared about this issue and believed that there's value in keeping the platform of the internet open and accessible to everyone. And since then, we've been involved in you know, a lot of conversations about it publicly. We've uh, you know, continued to educate musicians on the issue. And you know, we've spoken you know, in front of policymakers and had policymakers come to our events and, and engage on the issue. Because we think it's one of the more important conversations or debates of our time. And that you know, the future of the music ecosystem depends on independent artists and fans and labels being able to interact using this absolutely crucial technological platform.